Hi there, my name is Hampshire, and welcome to this video guide to get you to be doing tier 2 gauntlet and killing Hunluff. This is a rough and ready guide. This is how my videos are usually laid out. Um, this isn't a guide on how to do the gauntlet. It's just really to set up your runelight plugin and uh, get you on your merry way. So I'm going to go straight into it here. I'm going to send the lobby. Actually, first, I'm going to bank my um, teleport crystal really quick here and then come back over here. And there is the portal to go into the gauntlet to leave. And obviously, the deposit box and the loot chest is over here. Uh, this is just a tarmac from my stream. Link is in the bio if you do want to pop down to the stream. Okay, to get straight into it, I'm going to bring up another pop up here, um, which has the plugin. What you want to do. First off is go to the plugin hub at the bottom. You click this little cog, go down here to plugin hub. Then you want to find the gauntlet plugin. When you've installed that, it should have a green button saying install. You basically um, come out there. Now in the main area of the plugins, this should be the gauntlet there. So clicking that with it checked open, you then have all these accordion style um, titles. And we're just gonna go through them each and you can pause the video if you need to, just see how I do it. Again, this is for tier two and I will only be focusing on the bow and the staff method of um, uh, resource gathering. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into the first one here, resource tracking. You wanna have the resource uh, track resources checked this is a really cool um, part of the update. So basically, you want to have all friend bark, linum, and uh, oh, well, just those three all bark and linum to set to seven each, because that's how many tier two armor uh, resources you need to make the armor inside the gauntlet. I make two potions. That's your leaf there. I grab two weapon frames. And I just put 28 powder fish just so it's always on the counter and it doesn't remove it when the uh, track resources is, is applied. Uh, again, 500 crystal shards are needed um, thereabouts for all what you need here. And uh, we have bursting and the orb uh, checked as well. So once all that is checked, we're going to go to resource overlay. I just want to make sure it's kind of similar to mine. You want the overlay resource sources. This is very helpful when scanning the room um, because it can get a bit overwhelming having to hover over things, especially if you're learning the gauntlet. Um, so you got the all there. This is the, the outline color and the fill color. You can leave these as is uh, for the roots, the linen and grim. You can change if you want. The fishing spot I've left as well. Icon size. Full outline width, towel outline width, and then down now make remove overlays. Checked. Utilities, outline start and room utilities. Yep. Yeah. Outline color on. Uh, NPCs, outline demi bosses. Yes. And the dark beast green, uh, the dragon blue, and the bear um, red. So the dark beast drops the bursting, the dragon drops the orb for the staff. First ring, obviously, for the burr, and the bear drops the spike for the uh, melee weapon. And then outline strong NPCs there. Outline width, and then all these different uh, areas here. Strong NPCs are the wolves and the unicorns, which you can farm for your shards a little bit more. I don't have the weak NPCs highlighted because you tend, they're too common, and uh, you only really need to kill them to get the one weapon frame at the start. Um, so yeah, I don't have that jet. You can if you want though. On left, I've got outlined. Um, so yeah, just everything here with true tornadoes. I've put recently put this on. You can turn that off if you just prefer having normal nadoes. It might get a bit overwhelming having to uh, having to see the actual true tile rather than just where the nadoes are moving. But it's up to you. And then the timer. I've just got the overlay timer. It's not really needed these two. Um, it is useful to have, if anything. And then the render distance, I've got uncapped. So basically, everything you load in a chunk will be stored on your room light and you'll be able to scan the room like crazy. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do, uh, I usually do no cuts on my videos. Uh, I'm going to try and do a little overview of a quick run here. Um, so I have also made it flip. So um, the Hunleaf here, the, the, the gauntlet here is flipped to enter corrupted. Um, you can just uh, shift and then right click and then you can swap that to whatever you want using this uh, here anyway we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna give this a go so let's have a go so my aim for starting a t2 hunt is to do the shoe uh, the horseshoe method which is if hunlef is here and the center's there head to any of the sides and then kind of work your way like a horseshoe around and back while trying to peek through all different rooms and remember where things are you can get all these resources so here's all the resources we just tracked i've moved them conveniently above my um ui here on the menu just so it sits nicely for like a visual uh, uh view here uh so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm, I'm running out of time you, you are timed into this uh so here we have uh some spiders and bats and stuff um so i'm just gonna wallop these until i get a t until i get a um weapon for him you're not guaranteed it, um, but anyway, yeah, we're just going to... You often get these in the starting rooms anyway. Here we go. So I've got a weapon for him. So I'm only going to gather one weapon for him for the starting horseshoe run. That's the, what I call a stage one. I do see that. I should have opened that door really, but uh, yeah, don't be afraid to um, turn your prayer on, your melee prayer on. Uh, also, the route is highlighted. So we're going to grab one of those. We do need two of them. And you'll see this is now going down the more I am um, gathering resources. So I'll turn the prayer off now because I'm on the roots. You see here, this will start going down as they gather into my inventory. You get three pair um, kind of stack root, linen, or ore. So what you want to do if you're on a seven, obviously you need two uh, complete and one off that. Now I'm going to drop the axe. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to peek in these outer rooms, but I'm not going to commit to them. Here we go. Here's the linen. And again, here we are. Seven. As soon as we start picking them up. They go down. So three. Three. And then just one off that one over here that's creeping. And I'm going to evaluate the rooms on the side as well in case. So there we go. Dark Beast. So because the range of the Dark Beast is pretty lengthy, I'm going to pray range. Because that could really hurt right there so i need one of them i'm going to click off and you see as we go around the or these the the spores whatever you want to call them deplete uh from the graphic from the visual we've got a nice healthy amount of fish around here again working my way around in a horseshoe is uh the best i'm turning prayer off i need uh one more or after here i'm going to pre-predict of that and as soon as the xp drops i've dropped it it's gone. It's on the floor. Now, evaluating what I need, I need one um, one herb, one leaf. Okay, so I have a, have a bear here. So I'm going to open these top rooms. I was trying to find... I did see a leaf over there, so I'm not worried of finding one. Frame uh, melee, obviously, against him. Okay. And then we're going to run through here. Again, this isn't a complete guide. Okay, so we've got dupes. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. This isn't a complete guide on how to do a gauntlet run. It is mainly for the plugin and, and showing you how various bits work on it. And then I'm going to just open this room. And then we're going to head into the center onto the singing bowl, signing bowl, bowl, the big bowl. <laughs> See, these are illuminated from the plugin as well. Best thing I always do, make a staff, double click it, get the tuned one, sorted. See how many uh, shards I've got? I'm gonna click the helmet and then two vials. I'm gonna equip those uh, two things I just made. Head to the water spout. Now, because I got two dart beasts, I'm gonna to head to this dart beast first. Uh, I do have 86 here, so uh, I'm gonna make two secondary ingredients for that. And then, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna to head to this dart beast first. Then I'm gonna kill the 
um, bear because it will drop its spike. And then because we already have the burst string from this one, this Dark Beast over here, I could gamble and head this way. But because I'm so committed already and I've got fish over here and everything, you know, we can pretty much not do the whole horseshoe situation right here. And just really like, you know, be comfy with what I'm going to do here. Now, I've just grabbed that second... Um, the second weapon frame and as we're moving i'm gonna start making the potion i need it because it is a stamina potion as well you uh you will need to take at least a sip of one and my friends make three of them it's just i don't have the raids the chambers uh prayers uh, that most people have unfortunately i've not been lucky enough to get a uh, rigor or um augury so i tend to not need that uh many potions after we kill this bear, we're going to get his spike. And uh, just those two, the spike and the shards, obviously. And then I'm actually going to make my way towards these unicorns. That <laughs> you see, just like hopping around. That's that uncapped render distance from the plugin coming in strong. But again, don't be afraid to um, sip your I mean, sip your prayer. Use your uh, prayers against these overheads. It's not worth getting damaged for uh, Hunleth. And um, I'm just going to run through this really quickly, guys. Going to get that target of 105 more shards. Yeah, you can safe spot them um, sometimes on these gateways. Unfortunately, we didn't do it then. Okay, we did pull a crystal teleport seed. Now I'm going to focus my overheads on the Dark Beast. Start so heading to the room and kind of safe spot in these two unicorns as we go in. We're going to head behind the Dark Beast there. Just so uh, it kind of like... Yeah, so it spots it on it. Now, because I've already got a bow in my inventory, the great thing about this is, and I got a spike, I'll, I'm will i guaranteed the orb. And I believe... There we go. I'm going to use my teleport right now. I'm going to head back to the main lobby. Go here and just make everything. So I'm going to make my corrupted staff, corrupted bow. My tier one and then tier two set here uh and then we do need fish and i said this at the start i'm not sure how we're going to do this um because i did spend a minute at the start talking about what we're going to do so i'm going to get be able to get four fish per spot and the great thing is because we set 28 the blue icons will never disappear And I'm watching the time, constantly watching the time. Because as soon as I hear that teleport, I've got about 8 seconds, 10 seconds to cook all the fish I need before I head into Unleaf. So there we go. I'd probably want more fish in this scenario and to sort out my inventory before I get into Unleaf. I usually have a burr there. That there, that there, that there. Bomb, bomb, and yeah, we go and kill the boss. Anyway, I won't be showing the boss in this um, instance, but you can see how it works here. And uh, I hope you all the best of luck with your gauntlet. Any questions, please put them in the comments. I am happy to help. Um, so yeah, have a good one, guys.